hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the estimation of copper by using standard edta solution the aim of the experiment is to estimate the amount of copper present in the given solution by using edta solution the apparatus include burette pipette conical flask 100 ml volumetric flask and beaker coming to the chemicals required it include zinc sulfate solution copper sulfate solution edta solution ammonical buffer solution and especially during the estimation of copper two indicators will be used and the first indicator is aerochrome black tea which is used in the first step where the end point involves the color change from wine red to blue color in the second step fast sulfon black of is used and at the end point the color change is from blue to bright green so coming to the principle here also we will consider two principles one is in the first step and the second one is in the second step the only difference is in the nature of the indicator so in the first step the molarity of the edta solution is determined by using zinc sulfate solution and hence here initially zinc forms unstable complex with e aerochrome black tea indicator and in the next step it forms a stable complex with edta and hence the color change is wine red to blue so coming to the principle involved in the second step initially copper forms unstable complex with fast sulfon black f and in the next step it forms a stable complex with edta and the color change is from blue to bright green so coming to the procedure it involves two steps so the first step involves the standardization of edta solution by using zinc sulfate solution so in this step 10 ml of the zinc sulfate solution is transferred into the conical flask to that 2 ml of ammonical buffer is added and two or three drops of the ebt indicator is added which is titrated against edta solution until wine red changes to blue color the same titration will be repeated until two concurrent readings are obtained and always a tabulation is drawn between volume of zinc sulfate solution and the volume of edta run down here the formula used is m1 v1 by n1 is equal to m2 v2 by n2 molarity of the zinc sulfate solution m1 is equal to 0.05 molar volume of the zinc sulfate solution v1 is equal to 10 ml number of moles of zinc sulfate n1 equal to 1 molarity of the edta solution we have to find out volume of the edta solution is equal to 10.9 ml number of moles of edta is equal to n2 so m2 can be determined by using the formula m1 v1 by n1 into n2 by v2 on substituting the molarity of the edta solution is obtained as 0.045 molar in the second step the copper will be estimated so second step involves the estimation of copper so in this step 10 ml of the copper solution is transferred into the conical flask to that 2 ml of ammonium buffer is added and two or three drops of fast sulfon black f indicator is added the whole solution is titrated against edta solution until blue color changes to bright green color and the same titration is repeated until two concurrent readings are obtained and the tabulation consists of volume of copper sulfate solution against the volume of edta solution here the formula used is m3 v3 by n3 is equal to m4 v4 by n4 molarity of the edta solution m3 is equal to 0.045 molar volume of edta solution v3 is equal to 9.5 ml number of moles of edta m n3 is equal to 1 molarity of copper sulfate solution m4 we have to find out volume of copper sulfate solution v4 is equal to 10 number of moles of copper sulfate solution n4 is equal to 1 here the formula used is m4 is equal to m3 v3 by n3 into n4 by v4 on substituting the molarity of the copper sulfate solution is obtained as 0.042 molar and finally the amount of the copper can be estimated by using the formula molarity of copper sulfate solution into atomic weight of the copper into volume of copper sulfate solution by 1000 here the volume of copper sulfate solution is 100 atomic weight of the copper is 63.5 so on substituting the amount is obtained as 2.714 g finally the result of the experiment is the amount of copper present in the given 100 ml of the solution is 2.714 g if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day